Okay, let's go ahead and talk about real numbers here for a second. So when you're studying algebra or mathematics in general, you may not uh, realize it, but the different the, the numbers you've been working with, we've actually kind of classified and, and in various ways. So you probably kind of maybe picked up on this when you were in elementary school. You know, you, first of all, we started working with numbers like one and two, and then your teacher said, "Hey, listen, we're going to throw in some uh, challenging stuff called fractions," and you're like, "Oh man." Two thirds, one fourth, and you're like, oh, that's that's tough. You know, especially started doing things with these numbers, right? You started adding them, subtracting them, multiplying, divide, etc. You know, and, and most students hate that. You know, you'd rather be working with these kind of nice, simple whole numbers, you know, to multiply and divide. But then, you know, you started dealing with fractions. Then you might do problems like this, okay? Seven divided by two, and then you get some sort of decimal. All these type of numbers that you're we're working with are part of uh, real numbers okay so real numbers are a crucial crucial study um, or your your understanding of what what real numbers are or is essential to um, learning mathematics especially algebra and beyond so let's just take a look real quick and talk about what they are best way to do that I think is to show you a real number line okay we'll put zero here in the, in the middle and let's kind of build up the real numbers okay now the real numbers are actually kind of made up as I was um, talking about earlier of other various type of number sets okay so here we have fractions here we have some basic whole numbers and then you know we had some decimals over here so I'm gonna kind of just very quickly give you a sense of um, these number sets by by starting from um, the beginning okay so here we had zero but I'm not gonna write that here for a second when you first um, we're learning about numbers. You know, you're very, very young. You learn, you learned them in the natural way. You looked around and you said, "Hey, I see, I see one toy. I see two toys." You know, so we started like using your fingers, right? You know, I got one finger, two finger, etc. So we call those type of numbers what you physically see natural numbers. So let's put them right here: one, two, three, etc. Okay, so these are like natural occurring numbers. And those are those are a type of number system. Okay, then some smart person thousands and thousands of years ago figured out, you know what, um, we need another number that means that we don't have anything called zero, right? So when we throw zero in on our number line, okay, these are called the whole numbers, okay? And what I'm doing here is building up this, all the numbers that make up the real number uh, system. And then later on, people started figuring out that, you know, it's, it'd be pretty cool to have these negative numbers, right? So we kind of throw those in on our little number line and those are called the integers okay so all these whole the whole numbers and the negative whole numbers are called the integers let me see if I can kind of do it this way all right we'll give that like an I okay so those are the integers now if we start taking integers and comparing them by division ie a fraction like two-thirds or negative one-fourth those are called uh, the, well, you know them as fractions, but we actually call those rational numbers. Okay, so those rational numbers are all through here, right? And the abbreviation for rational numbers generally is Q, okay? Now, those are numbers that we can um, express as a fraction. And then there's other, type of t other types of numbers that we cannot express as a fraction, and those numbers are called irrational numbers, and they're all over this entire number line. We'll call that I. R. So, just let's take a look what we have here. We had these natural numbers, and then we learned about whole numbers, and then someone discovered integers, and then we figured out, hey, we have rational numbers and irrational numbers. Well, all of these numbers put together are the real number system. Okay, any number that exists on this real number line is a real number, and generally speaking, the abbreviation is a big, like a big uh, capital R. The real number set okay it kind of looks like that all right so those are real numbers and you're saying well are you know is that all the different type of numbers there are and actually there's a lot more type of numbers in mathematics namely the complex number system all right and if you want to learn about that or anything else about uh, mathematics and in particular algebra shoot on over to our site algebratesthelper.com total free resource totally help you out you know stop struggling you know we can we can help you out on all the uh, information you need to ace math is over here. 
Okay, so I hope this video helps you out. Have a great day.